Here I'd get one of these just in case of emergency. These are pretty cool. Uh, this is a like a dual cylinder piston air compressor. Something on the go you can leave in the truck just in case you need it. Call me crazy, but I'm actually gonna mount this air compressor to my tractor because I got like a wood splitter outside. So I can just drive the tractor up to the splitter and I can just air it up from the riding mower. It'd be a whole lot easier. So I don't have a lot of property, but I got some back here that it's a lot easier instead of just trying to bring it to the garage, you know? So this is actually pretty handy. But guys, if this is something that you'd like to purchase, I'll leave the link in the description below. Morning guys, so I just started the truck. Uh, got to get her warmed up. I got Gabe with me from Venice Build. Morning guys, on YouTube. He brought his awesome LBZ Duramax with him, and he is so kind enough to bring me some wood. This is this is a huge treat for me because it's like, what is it? Like pine? There's a little bit of pine there, and the rest of this is all maple. The maple? Yep. This is hard maple. We're trying to talk over the high idle in the garage over there. Actually, it's not too bad. We're kind of away from it, but yeah, I appreciate it, man. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, no problem, man. Anytime. I, I cut so far away in the wintertime, so it doesn't. Uh, I got some extra wood laying around I could get rid of for the spring and uh, make some more room in the shed. And so, this is good. Hang it over. This is easy to load, too. Oh, yeah. There's one, there's one big giant pine that's probably like 30 inches, like right here. So, it goes from here to there. It's all good. Giant. Well, let's look at the squat. Very nice. Well, actually, we got to go far away. It's not too bad. I mean, that's a that's a lot of weight. Yeah, it's sagging it's sagging just a little bit. I do plan on putting uh, airbags underneath that thing eventually. Yeah, that's gonna come in handy. Trust me. For sure. I had them on my uh, 601 ton, and I really liked it. All right, so you gotta pop your hood. We gotta see that EGR delete. Let's do it. He just so so the story goes that he came to the house and I tried to help him, and uh, apparently we ran it off the bolt that goes to from the up pipe to the EGR cooler. So I didn't have the tool to be able to extract that, so he, he had to, he, he got it, he got it. That's all I got to say. He brought it home and he got it. So bone stock LBZ with a, was it, MBRP? Yep. MBRP EGR uh, kit right here, which is a beautiful setup. I love the polished look. Um, how, how happy are you that all this stuff is gone? So happy. It's it's such an improvement to the motor. and. Uh, it uh, it just it's got prolong the longevity of it as well. Um, it wasn't super hard to put in after I got the bolt cut off in the back. Took one of those little angle grinders or like they use for air, like the air angle grinder, anyways. And I was able to stick it right down in, in between here, and I was able just to get a blade in. There. I pushed my dipstick back just a little bit, and I was oh, able I to get it in there with a three-inch uh, so die you, grinder you cut bent, off. You bent that off. You bent that back a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yep. I did the same thing. And then I just was able to grind it right off, and I pulled everything out. Got so, the blade in there. That was a dilemma that we had, boys. That that sucked. Um, I guess, I'd say he used the die grinder to cut off that nut, but to be honest with you, the easiest way to do this, if you had the know-how and the tools and all that, and the hoist, you'd be able to just. I would just say simply uh, remove that cab. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> simply. So. Another thing to check on too, I noticed when I took my turbo heat shield off that this uh, um, exhaust clamp back here was busted and it's been broken for a while. It was at least a month. And so it's not a bad idea to check that if you guys have a stock LBZ or you know stock Duramax, you know, just to check it and make sure they're all there. But I mean, this thing is rock solid. It's not going anywhere. It does not move. And yeah. I actually modified one of the mounts down here. It's the original mount, but it won't fit on there. Um, with this one anyways so I did basically just grinded off one of the holes that was already on there and then just moved it up and was able to mount it up and it worked out perfect definitely and also guys uh, something that I get a lot of questions asked to me is should I keep the heat shield on my stock turbo the answer to that question is you don't have to have it on there I mean the heat shield is there for a reason obviously to, you know to to absorb the heat 
hitting the firewall and all that, but you really don't need it. Actually, I love it that it's not there that way you can see it, but he's right. I mean, make sure you guys pull that off and inspect that clamp right there that goes to your downpipe, to your exhaust, because it could be warped, man. It could, I mean, you could have some serious issues. So I would say just pull it off anyway, just check that out, but it is kind of a pain in the butt to get yeah, it off. Very. Some guys actually just cut it off or yeah, I, bend I spent, the crap out of it. Yeah, I spent about a half hour bending it and shaping it to try and get it out, but. Next things next is a K and N cold air intake for this thing. Um, that'd be a, a bigger improvement as well. So yep, cold air intake, uh, pipes, freaking. It's just gonna keep going, man. The list is gonna keep going. For sure. And then eventually you're gonna turn into myself or Mitch right here with his Cummins, his five nine. But beautiful truck. I I love I love just the red. It's, this is a, called a victory red and from chevy and it's it's just a great color I, I really like it i really enjoy it are you gonna debad de your truck eventually or what i don't know i'm kind of i've been debating on it i might i might do it i think it'll look better but yeah I'm not sure I'm still partially yet so yeah it's it's hard and to it's dirty today it's like i said it's a work truck so yeah it, it really does shine when it's washed up nice and when i wax it this spring it'll look even better so. yeah it's a, it's a nice it's a nice truck for a for a michigan ride that's for sure so we're gonna go ahead and pull this truck out we're gonna go ahead and bring it to the wood burner i'm gonna bring my truck up there too yo EGR, did the egr fall off <laughs> yeah <laughs> make it happen but i did i did get it in there though oh. Hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you follow Bennett's build on YouTube I'll leave your channel link in my description so guys go ahead and check him out follow his builds pretty cool and I will see you on the next one take care thanks for watching guys